guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, I'm Patty and I'm a gnome maker. And today I'm gonna show you how to make this little leprechaun gnome. And his little body is made out of a little pot of gold. I'm gonna show you how to make his hands, his ears, his shoes. If you wanna know how to make him, stick around. I show you how. And if you wanna see future videos by me, be sure and like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you're notified when I have a new one. Thanks for watching. Okay guys, for this video, you're gonna need some pipe insulation, you're gonna need some decor for his hat, you're gonna need a faux fur, a little bucket, some glitter foam, some coins, a couple of hair noodles, a couple sticks, some clay, a piece of wire, some fabric, and then you're gonna need the Pinewood Derby weights, the ones that you cut to the size you want. Okay, let's get started. First thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our larger of the hair noodles, we're gonna take our wire completely out of it, we're gonna fold it in half, and we're gonna mark the center so that we can get enough for two um, legs and two two for the shoes. Then go ahead and cut your um, noodle in half and then take the other one and we're going to cut them at one inch and that's going to be for the shoe part and then you're going to go back in and cut off one and three quarters of an inch for the leg part. I didn't show to cut off that bottom part but you need to go ahead and make sure it cuts at one and three quarters. Go ahead and sharpen your um, sticks and then we're going to cut them at four inches in length and I'm just sharpening mine with a pencil sharpener. Okay, then take your um, little one inch piece and trim off the bottom, just so it's flat on the bottom. I didn't do this in the video. It still worked for me fine, but it makes it a little bit more stable if you go ahead and cut that bottom piece off. Then we're gonna take our stick, run it through the leg, and then we're gonna poke it down into the, to the shoe. So just make sure that it lines up straight, and then do the same thing for the other one. Then we're going to turn the, bunt, the blunt end of the stick and stick it down into that shoe and push those together. So that's going to be like the leg and the foot. And you're going to have to spend a little bit of time just making sure that you get these straight. So you want to make sure that they stand straight up and down. Then I went ahead and took some glue and glued the noodle to the noodle. But just make sure that you have a 90 degree bend there. Okay, then I'm gonna take the Pinewood Derby weight and I'm gonna cut it to the size of the bottom of that. And that's what's gonna give it the weight and make it stand up. And it, and it does hang over the edge just a little bit, but not a lot. And then just glue it down there. And then we're gonna come back in and glue them to the, to the foot itself. So you just wanna make sure that you get a piece big enough to cover the entire bottom of that shoe. And then we're gonna come back in and put some um, glue on both sides of that. So to glue the um, wire, I mean to the um, weight to the noodle, just so that it doesn't roll at all and it stays completely straight. Now we're going to take a one and a quarter inch strip of uh, glitter foam and we are just going to wrap it around to make the shoe. Starting in the very back, just line it up and then go all the way around. Now you're not going to glue it to the sides because we don't want to make it look like it's a square. We want to kind of give it some curves. So just go all the way around and then just glue it again in the back. And then we're just going to take our glue, put a dot of glue in the front and push that um, together, squeeze it together. Just don't get too much glue in the front or you won't be able to do that part right there. And then we're gonna put it in the front and glue it flat. And that's gonna make our shoe. Then we're gonna come back and trim them out here in a little bit. So just come down the back. And then we're gonna put some soles on them too. So we're gonna, we are gonna trim them up nicely. It just gives it for a little bit smaller shoe and that's what we're trying to get. Okay, then just go ahead and put one dot of glue in the front, squeeze it together, and then open up that hole in the front and glue it flat. Okay, now with a quarter inch piece of trim, that's what we're gonna trim it out with, but we're gonna take this other piece that we just cut off and that's where we're gonna make the soles. So just go ahead and glue it around the shoe and onto that weight and then set it on that um, excess fabric that you have, the excess um, glitter foam that you have with the glitter side down. OK, 
Okay, we're gonna go ahead and cut those in half and we're just gonna trim as close to the edge of the shoe as we can. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're getting ready to cover it up with a piece of trim. Okay, and that's a quarter inch strip of the same glitter foam. Come to the back and then just, and pull it tight as you're going around, not too tight to where you break it, but just kind of stretch it around there and it will seal all that up real nicely. And then just trim that off and glue that down. And then we're gonna take it and we're gonna do the same thing with the top. And we're gonna go around the whole top part, starting in the back, just to trim out that top against that leg. And then you're gonna do the same thing with the other shoe. We're gonna go ahead and add a one inch by one inch piece of um, glitter foam to the front, that's the buckle. That's kind of a champagne colored glitter foam. And then we're gonna cut a little strip of the green glitter foam to go across the front of it, just to kind of make it look like it's a buckle. Okay, and then do the exact same thing to the opposite shoe. Just pull that snugly around there. If you pull it snugly, it will, um, you won't be able to see any gaps between that and the, and the sole. It, it does make it look good. Okay, now we're gonna take some cotton fabric. We're gonna fold up the five and a half inch side and then one of the two inch sides on both of them and that way we'll have a nice um, hem on the bottom and the back of his, of his legs, of his pants. Okay, then we're just gonna go ahead and start at the very top part edge of that shoe and I'm just gonna wrap that all the way around and we're just gonna glue around the bottom part just to kind of make it snug up there. And then go ahead and glue down the back. And then do the same thing with the opposite one. Just make sure that your hem's on the bottom and then your, um, that you finish out your seam in the back with the side that we um, folded over, the trimmed out edge. Okay, now grab your scissors and we're gonna cut a few little slits along the top so we can fold it over to cover up the um, end of it, smooth it out real good so that when we stick it into the leg, you don't see a lot of fabric sticking up. Just glue it down to the noodle. And those are about quarter inch slits all the way around. Okay, next we're gonna do our body. And I'm taking a piece of um, pipe insulation. I got it at Lowe's and I'll give you the link for it. Um, honestly, you can get 16 gnomes out of this one roll and it's $1.78 a, a, for a six foot length. We're just gonna fold that over one side so we have a nice trimmed out edge. And then I'm not putting any glue in the middle. I look like I started to right there, but I didn't wanna put any glue in the middle because I didn't want any seep through. So the only glue that you're gonna have is on the back part. And then we're gonna put the same slits all the way around the top and the bottom to secure it to that noodle. And this is smaller than a um, Dollar Tree noodle. This is like 1.77 inches, but to go into that, um, pot of gold that I got at the Dollar Tree that had to be that size. Now, if you don't have one of these noodles, you can use a paper roll, but make sure you put some styrofoam inside so that when you push the legs up in it, it has something to grab to. Okay, then just gonna put a bunch of glue in the very bottom around, and just around the edge, not in the center. 
and just go ahead and push that noodle on into it and then figure out where you want your front to be before you push it all the way down in there so that you make sure your seam is in the back. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and cut my holes for my legs and I'm just gonna kind of evenly space them kind of in the middle and then on the sides. Just make sure you get your balance good. But these, these ended up balancing real well. I was surprised as little as they are, but they balanced great. Okay, now we're gonna take our beard and we're gonna cut it at two inches by two inches. In the picture, I showed it two inches by two and a quarter, but I came back and trimmed it out. So two inches by two inches is what we're gonna trim. And just go all the way around the backing of the faux fur only and clean that excess fur off. Then we're gonna come and attach this to the noodle about a half an inch down. And next we're gonna make his hands. We're gonna take a ball about 12 millimeter and we're gonna take a little pinch off of it, roll it in a ball, then roll it in a little log and that's gonna be his thumb. Then we're gonna take the remainder of the ball and we are going to Press it, pull it apart, press down the front, flatten it down, and then squeeze the two sides on the back part. And that's going to make a hand. And do the same thing for the opposite one. Just squeeze, pull it apart, squeeze the front flat, and then squeeze in the back together. And we're just going to cut it into three fingers. And then just separate those, and then we're just roll them in your fingers till they come to a point. And then we're going to bake these at 250 degrees for 15 minutes when we get done. So just roll those till they get you get them what you, where you want them. And then go ahead and add the thumb. Now make sure you put opposite thumbs on these hands so that you don't have their thumbs on the same side. Okay, once you get it exactly like you want it, I'm just going to curl them up just a little bit over so that they look like they're relaxed. And then I'm gonna put a piece of wire in there to put it in the oven and that's what's gonna attach it to our gnome. And then be sure and do the second one the same way. Then we're gonna take our noodle for our arms. We're just gonna cut it in half. And then go ahead and cut this off at two and three quarters of an inch. I figured out afterwards that I had it long and I had to go back in there and, and trim it up. But go ahead and take all the wire out of there at first and save it because we are gonna put it back in there. And then just take your hand, put it down in there and then we're gonna glue those in. And then do the same thing for the opposite side. And then this is where I held it up to the gnome and figured out my hands were too long. And I went ahead and trimmed them. And get them both even, both the same size. And then go ahead and straighten out your wire. Take that little white piece off of there. Cut it off of there. We're not gonna use that part, but we are gonna use the wire. We're gonna stick the wire right back down in there and we're gonna glue it in. And that's what's gonna hold it to our um, gnome itself. Then we're gonna take the pliers and we are going to fold that over so we don't have a sharp end on it and then squeeze that off. Okay, now we're gonna take our fabric for our arms. We are gonna glue up the um, short side and one of the long sides. And then we're gonna wrap it around the arm, but we're not gonna glue it to the arm. So start at the side that's um, not finished and we're just gonna go all the way around and then we're gonna make sure that our um, seam is in the back. So just turn your hand to your seam is in the back and then just glue that down. Trying to make a little bit loose um, looking, not so um, glued tight. And then glue the tip, the end of it down to that wire. And then do the same thing for this one as well. Just roll it up, but do not glue it to the arm. make sure your seam ends up not in the back but inside in the inside so it'll be the seam will be against his body 
and then glue that end to the wire. Okay, now we're going to just bend our wires over probably about a half an inch and that's what we're going to do to attach it to our our gnome we're going to come down three quarters of an inch from the top edge of his beard and make a mark and then we're going to take our exacto knife and we're going to poke a hole through there And then if you push your if you push your arm on in there and kind of twist it, you'll get it all the way down to where the bend of the arm is. And then we will glue those back in. We will glue them in here in just a second. But that way his arm is completely flush to that body. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the opposite side. And if your arms overlap inside and you can't get it through, take your finger and put it down into that hole and bend one of those wires down. And then it'll go in there real easy. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and take the hat and make the hat. We are going to break up the fibers on the top part of the hat and then about around the trim as well. That way it will curve real easily without bending. And we're going to go up three quarters of an inch and then glue that over. So three quarters of an inch just below that line and glue it in. Then we're going to take our, um, our hat and we are going to glue around the edge of the hat to glue it to the top part of the hat. And then we're going to slide that over the bottom and we're going to come up about a quarter of an inch from the bottom. And then we are going to glue around the top part of the um, circle to attach it to the hat. And then we're going to come around the bottom and we're going to attach a piece of um, trim that's about three eighths of an inch in length. I mean, three eighths of an inch in width. And that's just going to hold that hat together. Okay, now we're getting our measurement for our strip to go around it. We're going to take our um, pieces and put one on the top and one on the bottom of the brim to cover up that um, cardboard. Just make sure it's on there and then go ahead and glue that down and take your time on this part. Make sure you glue it down pretty tight all the way to the edge because we are going to come back with a um, 3 8 inch strip of glitter foam to put around it to trim it completely out. So you want to make sure you don't have any areas that are lifting. Get it glued in there good. And then starting in the back of the hat, attach your trim and kind of stretch it along the way like we did on the shoes and it'll really make it um, finish out nicely. You don't need a lot of glue, just a little bit of glue will goes a long way on craft foam. Okay, and then finish that off and then we're going to go ahead and glue the little circle to the top part of the hat and then you can use the same pattern if you want to with the cardboard piece to cut out the um, foam that goes around the hat but you will need to trim it down just a little bit because remember we put that lip on the bottom and um, you can just take a paper cutter and just trim that off And then we're going to come back in the same thing on the bottom part of the hat and put a strip in there too. It's like three eighths of an inch and then just trim that out. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and do his um, ears. We're going to take two little pea sized balls. We're just going to stretch them apart on one end. We're going to make a point. Then we're going to push in the opposite side to go against his head. Then we're going to draw a couple little lines to look like ears and stick a wire in there and do the same thing for the opposite side just making sure that they are pointing the opposite way then you're going to bake them at 250 degrees for 15 minutes and that wire is what's going to attach it to our gnome 
Okay, next we're gonna just put a buckle on his hat like we did his shoes. It's about a half inch by one inch. And then we're gonna put a green strip in the middle just to make it look like a buckle. Okay, next we're just gonna go ahead and touch his nose and we're just gonna go about a half inch down from the top edge of the beard. And then we're gonna take his, his legs back out, glue those in because we didn't have those glued in yet. And I do that, I try to do that last just to make sure that he was stable and he is very stable. Okay, then take his hat. We're gonna put glue just along the back edge of it and attach it to, and kind of lean it backwards a little bit and glue it to the back of his head. Then I'm just gonna come in with the ears and I'm gonna put them through the hat, find out exactly where they go, run an exacto through there and then run a wire through there just to make sure it opens up. Cause remember you have that cardboard around that hat. Just make sure you got it where you want it and then trim off any excess. And then you are gonna have to glue those wires into those ears cause they did not bake in. They don't bake in solid. And then we are going to glue those to his hat. and put a little glue on the ear as well. And then we're gonna do exactly the same thing for the opposite side, and then we are going to dress him up. We are just putting some shamrocks different places on him. I'm gonna put a coin in his hand and a few other shamrocks on him. Then I come back in here and I'm going to put a shamrock, a little bitty shamrock on his beard. And I got those at Hobby Lobby, that bag of shamrocks. It's a little bitty one. All right, there you have it. A cute little um, St. Patrick's Day leprechaun gnome. If you like the video, hit like. If you wanna see future videos, hit subscribe. And if you wanna be notified when I have another video, hit the bell. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it.